Hello, welcome to a new video. This is actually day two of an adventure. Day one is visiting this Roman fort here, Bow Castle, and also this nice hill fort up there called Dunmoor. So if you haven't seen it, go please go and watch it. And today we are going up Ben Ledi. Currently, Ben Ledi is residing under a cloud. Maybe it reminds you last time we went up a mountain. This time we may have a better chance of the cloud budging, and if it doesn't, we were here yesterday and it was beautiful, so I have great footage of the mountain, which I will insert at some point in this video. But either way, please come along. There's going to be a lot of beautiful places to see on the way up and down Ben Ledi. Here we are at the car park and we're about to go up. I wish us luck that the cloud will at least go away a little bit. <laughs> but uh, the sun is still out a little bit so you still have beautifully bright colours of the autumn. Oh wow, we've got already this beautiful view opening up. I think that's supposed to be Loch Luvnag. I think that's how we pronounce it. Or Lo Loch Luvna. Oh, look at this beautiful view. I'm glad that the sun came out and the very least it's giving us these beautiful colours or illuminating them. The sun is also currently sitting up on the mountain itself, although the cloud is still there. So it appears that you can also connect two other paths from here when we're going this way just now. This is like that time we went up Ben Venue. Which was pretty much the same time last year. So if you haven't watched a video, oh uh, yeah, maybe. Um, but it looked very similar in terms of the colours. So we visited Loch Trin and Ben Venue. And if you haven't watched that video, I think it's really nice. So now you can see the calendar and the area of Menteith. And you can even see as far as Stirling because there in the distance you can see a Stirling Castle and the, uh, the Wallace Monument. So the Wallace Monument is that one. Stirling Castle is right there. And you can even see Dumyat and you can see the Pentland Hills from here just all the way in the distance. And obviously the Pentland Hills are right next to Edinburgh. So this is the kind of thing you're dealing with when you're going up in Leddy. A lot of these stone staircases. And this one's quite steep as well. Uh, to me personally, 
going up is not the most enjoyable part. In fact, it's hardly ever enjoyable, uh, except when I stop and take pictures, which is probably why I do that. Take little breaks, and I tend to pace myself. But obviously, once you get up on top, this is when you receive your reward, so I think it's usually worth it to do things this way. But there's also something to be said about just stopping on the way and just taking in the landscape, especially when it's as beautiful as it is at the moment. This landscape is amazing. I think I've spotted the way up. Doesn't that look like a path right there? Now would you look at this? Loch Alivna has opened up and it's looking really nice. Posts, they look a bit like, here's where your challenge begins. So in the meantime, the rest of the landscape is starting to open up. So this is Loch Venachar. Let's just open up. And the other loch has disappeared. I think I can see part of the top. As you can see, the cloud is still around. So we'll see how much of a view we can get. So that's a mountain top up there and the mountain over there, not the darker one in the front but the one behind it, that one looks a lot like Benvenu so I suspect that's what it is so Loch Katrine must be over there in the distance. Because back in view. I was just checking the map and I found out what that little loch is called. And it's called Loch Drunky. Interesting name. But yeah, all of that sun setting on the hills. I think that alone is worth it, even if we're not going to get any view on the top. But since we're going down the other side, hopefully we'll get some more views on the other side. So that's us entered the cloud now. Until the view is still it's going to slowly disappear.
see a tiny bit of the loch in the distance. So the actual top is over there, this cross, I think it's a memory cross for this person. The, the wind has eased up a little. I have a mega wild up there. Really, really windy and cold. So it appears that another peak is awaiting us. This gentleman is called Moloch Bui. This path is quite uh, difficult by the way because the wind is also blowing into our backs so it's kind of pushing us down the mountain but the view is already pretty promising I think once it clears up it's gonna be beautiful it's like these clouds are playing peekaboo with us it's just every now and then they disappear and you get a bit of a view. a nice idea I would consider doing the whole ridge here because it looks really fun just follow along and then find the way down into the glen well it appears that the cloud never left the top of the mountain well it 
is a shame, but there's nothing we can do about it. I tried to get a good as view as I possibly could under the circumstances. So there's a little crossroads here. There's a path over there. And on Walk the Highlands it instructs us to cross the stream, so we're going to do that. Um, my partner crossed the stream by jumping over the big stones. Uh, I'm going to cross small stones. Whoa. Yay. Made it without falling in. There's a waterfall cascading down the side of the mountain. And there's a group of sheep perched very precariously. The path just very suddenly turned into somewhat of a road. One thing I thought was really interesting when we were up at the top, as soon as we arrived, my partner sat down to recover some energy. But when I arrived, I just received a lot of energy. So I wonder how other people feel about it. Do you get energy when you arrive at the top of a mountain? I wonder if it's just the accomplishment of having gone all the way to the top that gave me the energy. I didn't have a lot of energy going up it, but as soon as I reached the top, I had a, a whole burst of it. So let me know how it is for you. The sun is starting to set now. So there was a T-junction and we turned right. And hopefully I've gone the right way. And we're still following the burn here. So there's a wooden gate, which means we've gone the right way. We have found the waterfall finally. That was promised to us. Look at those colours. That's amazing. So there's a second waterfall. Hmm. you enjoyed those waterfalls. I certainly did, even though it's gotten really dark now. The sun has started to set and we just have to make our way back to our car. If I don't see you at the car, if it's 
too dark then <laughs> thank you for coming along today and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed Atmosphere is so quiet now. I kind of like it. <laughs>